What is up YouTube, Derby Door Weldor here, coming at you for another video. Today's video might not be as interesting to some of the people who have been following me for a really long time and are people who have been long time subscribers and people who have a lot of experience in the welding industry, but it may still be a good video. So today what we're going to be talking about, we are going to be talking about marking instruments and measuring instruments and all that sort of stuff. So stick with me, here we go. So as we can see right here, <clears throat> My many, many, many different measuring tools of all sorts of variety. So, we're just going to go over some basics. I'm going to try to make this video quick. Because I've done a couple takes of this and each one is taking 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm pretty sure nobody wants to sit here and listen to me talk about all this stuff on this table for 30 to 45 minutes. So, we're going to go to my personal favorite, speed squares. Why does Derb like speed squares? Well... I mean, they're simple. Speed squares just freaking work. Now, how do you use a speed square, right? Well, many, many different ways. They're very, very good tools. Let's just go over. We got a couple here. Um, Milwaukee is my new favorite. These two empires have been really, really good to me for a very long time. I've had this one since I was in welding school about four or five years ago. So that one has some age on it. It's proven itself. But Milwaukee is the new one right here. Actually, I bought. I just bought it today, so it kind of is now the reason I'm making the video because I kind of want to talk about this because it is absolutely fantastic. If focus, very, very, very nice speed square. Look at that. These little marks right here. What they are for, guys, is if I'm trying to draw a line on this piece of steel right here, say at one inch. I can take my marker, stick it right there, and drag it. Well, might help if this piece of steel is actually flat. But I can drag it like so. What am I hitting? There's just a big old well BB right there. Goodness. Helps when your piece of steel doesn't have big old well BBs on it. And like that. See right there, it fits in there. This one right here has every quarter all the way across, just like so, so you can do all that. And same with that side if you're pulling it towards you. Now, another really, really good thing about these is these do angles. Yes, they do angles. This is what is so fantastic about them. Check this out. So, you're trying to find an angle on something, check this out. You can, right here where it says pivot, that's your pivot point. five degrees that means that this line right here is five degrees off of this and that, that line is 10 15 25 35 45 and then 55 65 and all the way around till we go back to 90 that's one thing about these I love and they're just invincible. They're fantastic. You can't kill speed squares. You just can't. Unless you, like, run them over. Next really good tool. What is this thing called? Mag um, protractor. Angle protractor. Very, very good tool. Why would you have one of these on a truck? Mainly for finding out slopes of staircases. Favorite thing to do, take a piece of angle iron, about 10 foot, stick it on a staircase. Bam! Slap this bad boy on there and... Right there, see it's loose and free. Look at that right there. It'll now tell me the angle. And that measurement right there, that angle measurement, will now help me determine how I'm going to do my cuts for that piece for that stair. Of course, tape measures, I mean goodness gracious, you know. It's a freaking tape measure, right? Just have a tape measure. There really isn't no good or bad. You know, even the you know, the ones at Harbor Freight, they're good. There's a reason I don't have any Harbor Freight ones up here is because I'm constantly breaking them. So you see I have um, DeWalt, Milwaukee, and a couple different Stanleys up here because they're really, really good. Angle finders. This one right here. Little um, stainless steel angle finder. Work. There we go. See all the little numbers right there? Really good to have. This angle finder for when I'm lazy and I don't want to get too complicated. 
Combo squares. Oh, goodness. I love, hate combo squares. Really good contraption. Let's check this out. You can slide the little ruler back and forth for extremely, extremely, extremely precise measuring. And then lock it in place. It even has a little built-in level, just in case you need a level. It also has a little hardened steel scribe on it. The scribe I really don't use because, as you can see here, what do you know? It useless for steel. Probably works really great on aluminum and other things like that. I have two different varieties. I keep both of these on the truck. Just as I have two varieties of speed square now, the big one and the small one, I keep both varieties of combo squares on the truck. It comes with levels. Torpedo levels are my go-to. Steel is pretty much straight to begin with, so you don't need massive, you know, tall framing squares or anything. Not framing squares. Framing levels. You do need framing squares. You don't need these massive framing levels like you would use to level an entire house, you know. You don't need that. These right here are more than adequate. I have one that's slightly bigger that I can't find for some reason because I hardly never use it. Line levels with orange line. Um, hobo laser level. Really good for if you are running um, a fence line or you just need a straight line. Dirt cheap. This thing's like two bucks and then the strain to go with it is like ten dollars. Boom. Hobo laser level. Two sticks you found in the woods. String. That level. Done. You have a straight line to build something off of. Stud finder. Really not as much of a measuring instrument as it is just a instrument. A working instrument. But... Sometimes you're installing handrails in a residential house or in a commercial building that is indoors and you have to make sure your mount points are into studs because you are not going to mount handrails into the drywall. It's just not happening. Somebody's going to put their hand on it and whammo, your handrails are ripping the drywall out. So, simple contraption. You push the button and you slide it until it goes beep. And that right there tells you, oh, hey, look, there's a there's a 2B4 or a stud or whatever behind the wall. And this one will detect metal and wood studs. So you need that one because you're in a commercial building. They use metal studs. So you need one that, that will detect both. Marking instruments. Oh, boy. I hate soapstone. I know it's cheap. I just hate it. It wears out so fast. They break. It's obnoxious. I really hate it. Center punch. Why center punch? Well, center punch, use this for drilling. When you have got your mark figured out, bam. Right there, you smack it with a hammer. It makes a little divot that keeps your drill bit from walking around. Sharpie type markers. I always get the Milwaukee Inks All. They're my favorite. Only downside to the Inks All type markers is when the flame of your torch gets near them, it burns them off. So, if you don't have to deal with that with soapstone. But, the Silver Streak right here. You can get this Silver Streak at Tractor Supply and places like that. But, my absolute favorite is the Mark All Pro by Silver Streak. This is the greatest marker, greatest marker on planet Earth. Greatest marking instrument on planet Earth. It's aluminum, unlike the Silver Streak, which is plastic. It uses much thicker, a little bit thicker leads. So the leads from, from this are not compatible with this. It also has, if we take the cap off, a built-in sharpener. So you can actually sharpen your leads for a very nice fine line. And when the torch gets near it, gets near it, ha ha ha. It won't burn away. And look at how fine that line is. It's a very nice fine line. Very nice fine line for me to cross. <laughs> Next measuring instrument that I will be presenting unto you today, YouTube. If I can get it out the box one-handed. Calipers. Calipers. What is this contraption? So this right here. Say I want to measure the width of this right here. 
we hit on zero. Make sure it's on imperial because, you know, we're in America and we don't want to use the metric system because we're stubborn, hard-headed a-holes. And I am probably using this thing very wrong. Somebody's going to yell at me. Very difficult one-handed while looking through a camera. 0 0.1435. And I know that's wrong. <laughs> or maybe very close. I don't know. Let's see. Because uh, I think 0.15 or 1.6 is an eighth. And that is an eighth. So. Basically that's what this does. You use it to measure stuff. You take it and you go boop. Just like that. It also does an outside measurement. As you see right there. Same principle except to the outside. As let me throw... All this stuff around here. Got to keep it in a box. These things are like very sensitive. Next thing. Pipe wrap. What is this? It is a literally a wrap. You wrap it around a piece of pipe. And round like this. Get it after you wrap it around all level. Just like it is right now. And zoop. It now gives you a nice square even mark all the way around your piece of pipe. Very, very good tool to have. Don't really need it right off the bat. Now, for those of you who are just starting out, let me get down to the basics with you. These are the tools, these are the measuring tools you need starting out, period. You just have to have. One, speed square. Why speed square? Because it does more than the combo square. It does more of the stuff you're going to need than the combo square does. Second, a tape measure. You're not a tradesman of any sort unless you're using a tape measure. You, 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 you just got to have one. End of story. Next tool you absolutely need, a, at least a torpedo level. I get away 98% of the time with torpedo level. A bigger level doesn't hurt to have, but like I said, I lost my big one because I never use it. So, this one right here is a really nice Johnson drop-proof one. I highly recommend a drop-proof one because you're going to drop it three or four times. I also really like this Stanley Fat Max because it has a built-in angle gauge right here. Check this out. You can rotate this around. And put in the angle you want. And when the bubble says it's level, you are at whatever angle you set right there. Pretty cool. So I definitely recommend this type right here. If you're just starting out, definitely get one of these that have a drop proof version. Definitely get it. This right here. Or this. Either one. But this one right here because this now has eliminated your need for this. So if you don't have this level, if you have this level, you need this. Make sense? So YouTube, I did my best to try and keep this simple, straight to the point, not, not over explain stuff too much. We can always dive into this more and explain more of this. But these tools, there are people who explain how these tools work much, much, much better than me on YouTube. But these are tools you need. These tools really are, that I just showed you, are the unsung heroes of all trades. People love, oh yeah, I'm going to get a really, really cool saw. And once I have this cool saw, I'll be a better at this. Or I get a better welding machine, I'll be a better welder because I'm a better welding machine and whatnot. Well, no matter what kind of welding machine you have, if you cannot measure or cut a straight line because you don't have one of these, everything you have is going to be crooked. And if you can't measure anything to install anything because you ain't got a tape measure, well, I mean, it really don't matter what welding machine you have on the back of the truck because you don't know what length to weld stuff together to. End of story. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Oh, and one other thing before we go too far. Before we go too far. This ink ink inks all pro mark all yeah mark all pro there we go you can get this at Robert's Oxygen in Raleigh today well maybe not right now today because I think it's past five or closed but <laughs> you can get this at Robert's Oxygen no other welding supplier in Raleigh carries these or the refill packages for it. Robert's Oxygen on Westinghouse Boulevard is the only place you can get those. 
So definitely go see my buddies at Robert's Oxygen. They are fantastic people. They, I guarantee you they will get you a better deal on all your welding supplies than anyone else in Raleigh. Thank you to my longtime subscribers for watching this video, even though I know it was probably a little bit, you know, a little bit rudimentary and probably all of y'all already knew all this stuff. To my, new, to my new followers, thank you. I hope this video helps you guys out some and point some of y'all in the right direction on some of these measuring tools and get you up, up off the ground and started. Thank you, and all of y'all have a fantastic day.